A new report is shedding light on three missed opportunities that law enforcement had to take down the gunman at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. A report came out today from the Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training Center. It's at Texas State University. The report says a Uvalde officer cited the officer, I should say, saw the shooter before he went into the school, but waited to get permission from a supervisor to act. The report also says another officer was speeding through a parking lot causing him to miss the gunman who was in the same lot. And third, the doors, as we've now heard, were not locked. So this comes as the mayor of Uvalde and a state senator are calling attention to a lack of resources for victims. In a letter to Governor Abbott, they asked for the city's district attorney to be removed from overseeing victims' services. Senator Roland Gutierrez says the Uvalde Together Resiliency Center, which was set up to help the victims and their families with money and counseling, is not delivering. I've had at least 10 different constituents tell me that were either people that lost children or the people that had children that were injured tell me that they were given two weeks of uh, essentially bereavement pay or, pay or lost wages. Governor Abbott established the long-term Uvalde Together Resiliency Center a week after the shooting. It's an investment that cost $5 million.